morning. What is up? So this morning, I want to talk about bottle bags. I have a lot. There's one actually right there, but it's a shorty. That's one, the one that uh, my jet boil is in. But I have a couple of Condors. I have them strapped to my medium-sized uh, sustainment bag. It's at home. But I found out that a few of these bags would actually hold a lot more water than just an algae. So, some time ago, I did a video about this bag. This is the Pathfinder bottle bag from Self Reliance Outfitters. Really nice big pocket up front. And as you can see, a lot of the edge banding isn't done. It has like a backing on the canvas, which that's okay. This comes with their kit, so it's not that big of a deal. I think you can order it by itself as well. They did do edge banding around the, the lid and around this spot here, but on the inside they did not. Not really insulated at all. I don't think it has, yeah, it doesn't have any insulation in it. Again, it's meant to carry a cook set, so on and so forth. Set that one to the side for a minute. It also comes with a shoulder strap. But then I started seeing, and I had seen these on Amazon, and I had considered ordering one, but then I was watching some videos from Dave over at Really Big Monkey One, and he has these. He has one or two that does not have this bottom pouch, which by the way, this will hold like a tuna can or the like really nicely. It also has a pretty big pocket on the front and it is padded, the whole thing except for the sidewalls. So like this front pouch is padded and the zippers are still new and not broke in. This bottom has some padding. This bottom in here has some padding. The sides have a little bit of padding. So that helps. A little bit of insulation, a little bit of padding. So this one, I don't think any of the others do. No, this one has this nifty little handle on top that also has some padding in it, like some backer rod or something shoved in it. And it has a spot up top for a hydration tube to come through. And, you know, and all the inside is all, come on, edge bound. It's not super great, but it's, it is at least edge bound. And then the side walls have a little bit of padding in them, as well as this top lid. So when I got this, I almost returned it because uh, also, metal hardware on the shoulder strap with the shoulder strap all that good stuff one of the molly straps this one right here the inside ring on the snap is not there so it doesn't actually snap and there's you know a handful of loose threads and stuff and this is this was this wasn't cheap it wasn't overly expensive but it wasn't like five dollars or anything loose string but you get, you get more to this bag than you do this bag. So, okay, I was gonna return it, exchange it actually. I was like, you know, I'm not gonna molly this to anything anyway. It's not what I bought it for. So I'm just, it's fine. Everybody has an off day. Even companies have off days where their QC may let something slide. So, <coughs> excuse me, a little coffee here. But I also ordered in this. Now this is a Maxpedition. This one is more expensive than the others, but it's also a little over, the, you know, over engineered, so to speak, from the others. It's it's got a lot more beef to it. You know, the uh, all the canvas is is really you know really thick, and it's it's just really nice. It does not come with a shoulder strap, and it does not come with volley attachments, but it does come with this big strap with this heavy-duty uh, clasp there. 
and it also has you know spots for patches and whatnot. It also has a nice big pocket up front, and it is all edge bound all the way around where all the seams are. I put some fixing wax on these zippers because man, they were stiff until they get broke in. This has a little different lid design. And the back has like this doubled up area where this is nice and thick. It's all padded. So why did I get these? Because they will hold a two liter bottle. Max Edition is way more padded than the other ones. But again, it's, you know, it's Max Edition. So, you saw me take the two liter out of that. It fits like a champ, like it was made for it. That's the Max Edition 12 by 5, I believe. So, we put it in the Pathfinder. Fits just fine. Zips up, no problem. By the way, there is room, so you could put like utensils and stuff in there. It doesn't impede on this pocket. Uh, you could even probably get some stuff around the top here. Fits in that great. Let's set that over to the side. So this one, the orca. Oh, by the way, if I didn't mention it, this is an orca, and the tag is kind of buried down in here. I have multiple bags from them, and their QC is usually awesome. I uh, have three of their bags sitting here today. So, again, these are new, so they're kind of not broke in yet. It's a little tighter of a fit in this one. However, I guess if you just left it in here all the time, it wouldn't be a big deal. And as the fabric relaxes, this will get easier. So when you go to close this one, it will close. I'll lay this down so I don't rip a seam. It's probably loud, I'm sorry. It will close. But it it's a tight fit. Now, apparently there are different sizes on two liters with a little bit of variation in height. They're all two liter, but I get some of them the way they're made. They're a little shorter, a little taller, whatever. I don't know which of the two I have. It does fit. It's not a problem. And if I put this in here and left this zipped up for a while, this fabric would relax and stretch out. But it does, it does make it a lot tighter of a fit. Like you have, it impedes in on your, uh, say it just, it makes it a tight fit but it doesn't peed in on your front pocket there. Where in the others, not so much. And with the Max Edition, you still have you still have some room on the side, not as much because of the padding. But it does fit in here very nicely. I worked these zippers last night, but until this fabric relaxes, it's tight but as you can see it doesn't impede in on your pocket so you still get the full benefit of your front pocket to put you know cooking utensils or whatever in maybe a small fold-up grill or something so three packs that will hold two liters that's I actually have hang on one second it's in my fridge. I have a Nalgene. I know everyone can math and figure out the difference, but it's quite a bit of difference in water. Yeah, you know, this Nalgene would fit down inside here and you could still put water. Um, you know, 32 ounces, which two liter, I don't even know how much two liters is. I don't, I don't do math with liquid equations. But if you so chose to go with a two liter or go with a Nalgene, you would have plenty of room. 
I just get my whole hand in there with that one. Now, Gene. Let's see, now Gene and this Orca, which is probably more for what it's meant for. Yeah, see, a now Gene fits right in there, and you still have room in your lid for whatever. Just to keep things fair, let's put it down in the Pathfinder. Oh, yeah, good lord. The Pathfinder not having any, <laughs> it doesn't have any padding, so I could put all kinds of stuff in here. I could probably almost fit my coffee cup in beside this thing. Almost. You could probably fit one of those skinny water bottles in here beside the Nalgene. But that's not what we bought it for. That actually came with the trick set, but oh, dang, I'm gonna knock stuff over. But this is what I wanted these for. You get more water. This one with the padding, the insulation, whatever you want to call it. It's just gonna be real nice. Because being in the desert, water is important. You need to take as much water as you can. And besides all that, you know, if you're just going out and the temps aren't too bad, but you wanna you wanna cook or something, you wanna cook and be able to have something to drink. You know, you take take both of these. It gives you four four liters of water, and there you go. You're all set for your trip. This over here. That's pretty much all I got for you today. I just wanted to share. I'm gonna build a couple of these out and then I may do another video once they're all built out with what all I'm gonna put in them. And this summer I'll probably bring one of these to and from work with me just so I have a full two liters extra water with me at all times. So that's what I got for you today. I hope everyone's week is going well. Mine has been kind of crazy, hence the lack of videos, but uh, we're getting stuff done, so that's a good thing. So, till next time, take care.